Can you believe it? We are three weeks from Easter. Time to do some Easter shopping. This year, I have decided to go local. Support local, give back to the local community. Fresh produce, good food, indie designers, makers and crafters. I am in Chelsea at the Bicentennial Park at the fifth chapter Maker's Market. Let's take a tour of the market. The fifth chapter, Maker's Market, happens on the last Saturday of every month at the Bicentennial Park in Chelsea, Melbourne. And usually, you will find Auntie Kelly at these markets. So Kelly, it's so nice to see you. And look at all your lovely products. <laughs> Now, would you tell me a little bit about yourself? Yes, because sure. probably you'll do it better than I do. <laughs> Thank so you. So what's Auntie Kelly about? Okay, uh, so who is Auntie Kelly? You Auntie know? Kelly is me. Yeah. So I'm a qualified vet nurse uh, who's decided during lockdown to uh, start my own business. And at the moment it's pet attire, some bow ties, bandanas for dogs and cats, as well as scrub caps for vet nurses doctors, um, human nurses, anyone that needs to have a scrub cap over their heads um, for protection from their hair. Yeah. <laughs> so when did this start and how did it start? Like how did you think about cats and dogs? Like is it yep. cats or is it it's just cats dogs? as well. Um, okay. I have a lot of friends who have cats so I, I was often told that don't just rely on the dogs we also want things for our cats. So it really started in lockdown uh, when I was doing my vet nursing at clinics. I could see lots of dogs and cats coming in with their pet attire. Loved it. Uh, the stresses of being in lockdown yeah. sort of caused me to think I need to do something a little bit extra. So I wanted to start doing some sewing and thought I'm going to start doing pet attire. So my little baby, uh, my little Kelpie the cross, baby is sleeping. Riley, a short having a good yeah. time. Yeah. Um, she was my she was my uh, sewing um, buddy, so I learned a lot from from making things for her. And then it just started from there. I enjoyed myself so much that I wanted to make my own business. Absolutely, it's the passion, isn't it? It's all about passion. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Now, how do you make it, and uh, what kind of fabric or yeah sure so everything is made from uh, woven cotton or canvas um, I do make thicker bandanas for, for dogs especially if it's a, a winter type thing um, but I do like the breathable cotton so especially with scrub caps you get quite hot being a, a nurse or a doctor so you do like to have breathable uh, cotton something that's very um, versatile easy to make but also uh, washable just quite sturdy overall Absolutely. and and last um, I'm all about making things that last so my my cotton woven um, bandanas they can be just thrown into the wash and done like that so I do I do like the uh, the idea of cotton yes, yeah yes. Most certainly <laughs> natural fabric absolutely and I can vouch for your quality because my grandpappy <laughs> is a big fan of Auntie Kelly and oh, he wears you. your bandanas <laughs> and your bow ties he loves it oh, beautiful. and he's a big boy so yep. you know quite rough with uh, <laughs> everything he has so it's lasted for a while so vouching for the quality Now, how important would you say making local and being local? How is it? Is it important to you at all? Or For me personally, important? it is. Yeah. yeah. Um, starting my own business during lockdown um, and knowing that there wasn't that that uh, assistance of getting things imported, um, I just felt like it all needed to be 
within Victoria or even Australia. I, I really like the idea of having something local and being at markets and things, you just see how popular handmade local products are. Um, it was really important to me. So I make sure that majority of my things are made here. Um, I, I make them, but the, the, the fabrics and things are made, uh, are yes. brought in from um, yeah. everywhere in uh, Victoria. Yeah. The tags that I make, my Auntie Kelly logo tags, they're all from local because I wanted suppliers. to make sure that I could actually get the supply, but also help because exactly. lockdown has shown businesses are closing all over yes. the place and we just wanted to make sure that we were trying to help with those those businesses that might might have closed down if we didn't have their, their help. So, yes. yeah. So that brings me to my next question. What is... Uh, how important is sustainable and ethical to you? You pretty much answered about the local, you know, yeah, manufacturing absolutely. and things like that. Uh, but is it something you live by, like you know, sustainability, ethical manufacturing? Is all that? Does it make sense to you? Yeah, it has yeah. an impact. I mean, you can see it. Um, and I, I'm one for for making sure that it is. Um, I do have sustainability, but also. Um, knowing that the, the companies that I'm dealing with have their um, ethical and sustainability factors in their businesses as well, it helps so much for me. Yeah, I'm, I'm really big on that. And I like the idea of, um, not just with my, my stuff that I have here, but introducing other products which also uh, has um, different types of material that is very good for the environment. Um, getting rid of plastic things. Yes. Um, bringing in natural things, but also yeah. ones that you don't often see in, in dog products, um, hemp and um, yep. cactus, yep. that Wonderful. type of thing. Yeah, I'm looking into all those sort of things. So it's really, it's really big high on my agenda. <laughs> okay, quick question. Yeah. Instagram versus local markets, social media Ooh. versus local markets, which one works better? It's actually a, a really big combination, to be honest. Yeah. Um, you use Instagram, social media, to attract people to your markets. But as you can see, a lot of people love to see things yeah. in the flesh. They like to try things on, touch it. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's a catch-22. You do like to have people interacting, and it's a great vibe. Um, but also you like to have that, um, that social networking where people from who might not be in the area can actually see what you're what you're doing as well so I think it links the, the two yeah both. you do need both and we find you at now you can give me your socials and yeah, Insta sure. uh, website yeah. and also any upcoming markets like sure. this is Chelsea markets this you are Chelsea. usually usually here yeah and what's your website my website is www.auntiekelly.com yeah <laughs> I got it there uh, and my socials are auntiekelly.au so I've right. got Facebook and Instagram right. check it out um, and I'm at market so this is the Chelsea market today it is the second last one the next last one will be at the the fifth um, Saturday of the month so the last Saturday of the month but also I'll be at Red Hill next week and uh, Yarra Glen on the Sunday next week as well. So there's there's a Wonderful. range of markets Wonderful. that you can see you me can at. Come yeah. and spend a day Absolutely. At the yeah. Um, supporting Absolutely. makers, local crafters and makers. It's really and, important. And yeah. you get to see things that you don't often see at normal stores. Um, it's really local yeah. and it's really great quality. So you, yeah. you know, make the effort and come to markets and you'll actually, you'll be impressed by what you say. It's great. Yeah, <laughs> wonderful. I can see you are getting busy. So this is the last question. Anything special for Easter? Any products or any offers that you might have for Learn with Samita uh, yeah, sure. subscribers and viewers? So at the moment, I'm doing um, Easter bandanas. I've mm -hmm. got hot cross buns. My dog's wearing a hot cross bun bandana at the moment. I've got lots of themed um, hot, um, Easter products. Um, I'll also be doing Anzac Day um, commemorative um, biscuits and bandanas, <laughs> <laughs> bow ties as well. There's yeah. a range. And um, if you go on my website um, and spend over $50, you get free postage as well. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you so no much, problem, Kelly. And I might you. shop around <laughs> and pick up uh, an Easter bandana for my yeah, grandpappy. Yeah, no more, I've got enough. <laughs> that's right, that's my hobby.
And then, as we were browsing through craft and food stalls, just like all good things, Chelsea Markets came to an end. If you are liking our videos, give us a thumbs up. You know what to do. Like, comment, share and subscribe. And if you would like us to cover a particular place or an event, Mention in comments below and we would do our best. Till then, this is Samita signing off. Bye for now. Till next time.